crazy year for us until these last three years. We were like, wow, the market's really picking up. Average house price is 300,000. And then COVID just shot it up to the air. So then we started seeing mid three, 300s, then 400, and then now we're close to 500. Um, as I was explaining before, uh, what we really saw was first time home buyers. We had the regular sub rebuyers, but we're also seeing a lot of people when COVID hit move back. So a lot of my friends that got jobs in Toronto, they can now work from home. They're moving back to Sudbury. They can live comfy, buy a nice house, and they also still have their income from their, their job down in Toronto. Um, we're also seeing, like I was saying earlier, the lower price points were getting bought up for burrs, second units, um, the lower value investments. And then the people from Sudbury that own those, they were cashing out 100, 150 grand. And they're actually the ones that are buying the higher end properties now that, are, that have want the bigger step up home because they've made so much on their, their, the cheaper investments. Um, here's another example of just the house prices, the ups and downs, obviously winter's a little bit lower in summers. Um, our inventory, so the number of active listings, that's all across Canada, basically from what I've been hearing, has very, very, has gone down quite a bit. That's also because of the amount of buyers. The amount of new listings actually hasn't changed all that much, although it has been lower recently. Um, this was pretty interesting as well. If you're looking to invest in the Sudbury area, um, U-Haul did top 25 Canadian growth cities and Greater Sudbury was number uh, number three. North Bay was actually number one, um, which is also a northern city about an hour and a half away from here, uh, which I thought was pretty interesting. We haven't seen the huge Canada, st uh, the statistics of Canada yet to see what our population has actually gone up to. Um, but as you can see, slight increases a couple thousand and then the last i believe this was mostly the last couple of years that we've gone up a five thousand increase um but the full statistic or the full census hasn't come out yet which i'm pretty looking forward to seeing that and then in terms of jobs opportunities uh obviously the super big developers in sudbury are seeing an opportunity in sudbury because they're looking at building the kingsway entertainment district um, this is going to be a huge arena um, entertainment center. Um, right now, our arena is very bad for acoustics. So not a lot of entertainers or uh, artists want to come uh, do a presentation in Sudbury. So this is hopefully to attract more events in the Sudbury area. It'll create a ton of jobs. It's a huge, huge project. It's just like any big project. There's people that are boycotting it, obviously. Um, they don't want it in the location it's supposed to be. So that could be important for an investing uh, mind and it's going to be weirdly right before the right close to the Sudbury landfill site so it's going to be around around here oh sorry around here is where they're going to put the district so right down here is called middle lake and this is like the lower part of new Sudbury I believe these places will have a lot of value add in the next two three years um, once they start building and this starts becoming active this whole hub in this area I think will become a lot more traffic, a lot more people, more restaurants, and more opportunity, which is also right close to Costco and Best Buy and Home Depot and all uh, some big stores. Um, so that's kind of the Sudbury market update. Opportunities right now are the the low low rents. If you're good at dealing with tenants, the cash for keys thing, it's very hard to get tenants out on closing and have vacant possession. So. And because our rents have gone up so much in the last couple of years that most of the properties that are selling are underperforming rent. So you're buying at five or 5.5% cap with, with a potential for an extra 15 or 2000 in some cases, extra rent a month once those units are turned over. So.